You watching the poly walks? <laughs> yeah. Today's episode is brought to you by Smug Mug, which I use to back up all my photos automatically when I'm on the road, showcase my online portfolio to the world, run my website, and sell prints to customers. Smug Mug has better terms and rates than iCloud, Google, or Amazon, and there's a free two-week trial at SmugMug.com. Give it a try. So if you're coming to Osaka the first time, definitely go to Dotonburi, definitely go to uh, Shinsekai, Osaka Castle. Go there, knock yourself out, have a great time and then come here. Now this is my friend Matt Kaufman, a New York expat who has lived in Osaka for over 25 years. He's a writer for the Osaka.com website and he agreed to meet me and show me his off the beaten path Osaka, the stuff that doesn't make the guidebook. And naturally this is where I got the best, most unique photos of the city. Quite a photo walk, I must say. People are reading the same guidebooks. They're watching the same top five YouTube videos of destinations in Osaka. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of people going to the same places, just like in any major city. What I recommend you do, go to a side street, go away from the crowd and take a chance. I took Matt's advice to heart and really set out to capture the feeling of Osaka in the people. Because the people in Osaka are known for their food and their humor. There's a very strong sense of humor. Even if there's a language barrier, it uh, you know transcends the, the language barrier and you get the feeling that you're welcome. To meet Matt required a roughly 30 minute train ride on the loop line from Osaka Station. We're in an area of Osaka called Nishi Tengachaya. Tengachaya is an area of Osaka that means the tea house under heaven. So I tell people I'm going to Japan, they say, oh, have a great time in Tokyo. So no, I'm going to Osaka. And they say, oh, Osaka, where, where, where exactly is that? So it's the other side of the country. And I say, oh. Right. And then they sort of stare at you. Right, Osaka is the western part of Japan. It's, it was, used to be called the Wild Wild West. And it has its own characteristic. It's famous for its street food. And I think in the last couple of years, People have discovered this, this amazing street food, partially through people like Anthony Bourdain, and partially through just wandering the streets and trying it. So I think uh, it's a more hands-on experience. Like if you enjoy talking to people or trying new types of food or just uh, engaging with people who have an incredible sense of humor, then Osaka is the place where you should definitely uh, visit. Okay. I recommend it highly. Matt took me to one of these great old Japanese arcades with tons of stores and markets and such. And naturally, I found a really great photo here. This old market looked like it belonged in a classic painting. It was that cool. And the trick was figuring out which angle to get it from. So naturally, I kept moving until I got the photo just right. And then once I was happy with that, we asked the market master to please uh, pose. Move. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna get, get a close up. Taking photos of great buildings and street scenes, I mean, they're, they're great, <laughs> but come on, it's the faces yeah. we remember, right? Okay, so if you want to take a photo of someone in Japan and you get permission, you could say pose and then say cheese in Japanese is hi cheese and uh, usually a flash of a peace sign, but it's a heads up like, okay, I'm, I'm about to press the shutter. Matt was right. The request worked wonders and people were more than happy to have their pictures taken. Lucky me. The Osakan people, as he said, were so welcoming. You can see it in the images, right? I love photo walk. When you're taking photos and when you come to Osaka, by all means go to Dotonbori, go to Osaka Castle, get those photos. However, at a shopping arcade like this, you'll get a unique photo. For instance, this wonderful man making his okonomiyaki for us. Could we have gotten this same shot on a crowded street that caters to tourists? I don't think so. 
Now we're going inside. The secret lair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. Okonomiyaki. This so is one of like... Yeah. No miyaki. Okonomiyaki. This is one of the four must-haves when you come. Probably the two must-haves. The two. It's the octopus in this. Takoyaki. In fact, you can make friends with people in Osaka by telling them you like this. And that's that's bonding right there. Shoujiro Karabe. Thank you. Matt took me to one last restaurant in the arcade, and this one had more people. This izakaya was loud, it was cramped, it was boisterous. As you can see, it's a lot of banter. At first blush, I didn't think the cafe offered many photo ops. That is, until I remembered my Osaka assignment that I gave to myself. Capture the locals, the people, with my smartphone. A friendly place like this was gold for me. I mean, look at these faces. Now, my photo tips here. Have a business card of some type to show off. It helps to break the ice, even if you can't understand each other. Ask for photos, and then if you get the approval, snap. Snap, snap, snap. I took most of these images in ultra wide at the 0.5 setting on my phone because I also wanted to capture as much of the environment as possible. Again, I snapped a lot, hoping to capture candid portraits of people, and then I converted many of them to black and white for several reasons. It offers a classic look. It says, this is a photo essay, and these images really pop on social media. All right, Matt, thank you so much for this. This was an experience of a lifetime. My pleasure. I'm glad you got to experience a deep area of Osaka. And we got to take pictures of so many people, and you taught me how to ask. Your itinerary for this little tour is at Osaka.com. Right, I actually wrote an article on this area, and it gives you very useful tips on what to order. Uh, very extensive, so please go to Osaka.com. Uh, look for Nishi Tenga Chaya and it'll pop right up. All right, I'll have the link to it in the description and as well as at the blog section of the photowalkstv.com website. Uh, for more information, go to Osaka.com, read all about you. You've got a whole bunch of articles got there. It. Yes. Check me out at, at, at our blog as well. Stay tuned for more episodes. Don't forget, if you have questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below or come to our weekly live show at Thursdays at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get your questions ready because we answer them in real time. On that note, stay tuned for more and I'll see you on the next photo walk. Bye, Matt. Okay, bye-bye.